Today I'm going to show you how you can make your guitar recordings better with room treatment. I'll show you what you need and how to set it up. Thanks for joining me at Smith Music. My name is Paul Smith and I bring you in the studio and backstage as well as do gear reviews and show musicians how to build music careers. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Even in a large live room like I have, when I want a close sounding acoustic guitar, I use room treatment to tame reflections. In a small room, this is even more important. I use DIY gobos or sound absorbers made out of Ruxol fiberboard covered in fabric. Mine are seven inches thick and two by four feet. This lets me get the mic a little further away from the guitar, which helps reduce proximity effect of cardioid mics. Sometimes with a large room, I want to hear the room as I record the guitar. In this case, I adjust the mic distance to capture the balance of the two. If I know I want a room sound, my other option is to record a close mic and a far mic of the room as well. Here's an example of a close mic with room treatment. For equipment, I'm using a Wonder CM7 GT, my DNR console pre's, and Motu AVB converters with no EQ or compression. Here's an example of the same placement without room treatment in a very large room. I can't stress enough how important sound absorbing gobos are when recording in a small room. To hear the difference this makes, you can watch the video I made on room treatment for small rooms. If you found the information in this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. In the YouTube description, you can find links to any equipment or software used in this video. Thanks for joining me in the studio and backstage.